Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about the menu widget in Tinkter. It is basically to create a menu bar or a list like menu. There is nothing complex about it, just try to understand how things are working as we write the code. So from Tinkter, import star and I'll get the window. I'll write win equals tk. I'll also give in the title. I'll write win.title. Let the title be menu. Then I'll add the widget. So this widget would be declared with a variable menu, which will be the main menu, and that would contain the sub menus to be displayed. So I'll write menu equals menu, and where do I want this menu? On the window, on the master window. So I'll write when. So I'll have this main menu where all the other features or objects will be contained. Like this is the main list that will contain elements with sublists. Now I would need to add this to the master window. So I'll write dot config menu equals menu. This config function can be used to overload. If you have an object in Thinkter that is already configured and you want to edit some of those configurations, we use config. Now we'll create the elements of the main list. So I'm going to create a list with picking tools, the size of the tools and then its color. So let's do it. So first would be tool equals menu and within brackets. You can see what all configurations you can give in to this menu widget. So for master, I'll give menu. I'll give in a background color. Let it be gray. Let the foreground be black. I'll also give in active background. Let it be sky blue. Then I need to add this tool object to the main menu list. Okay, so I'll write menu, the variable menu, dot add cascade. That is how you add any object to the main list, main menu, and label equals tool, and menu equals tool. Now I'll be adding some options to the tool object. So I'll write tool dot add command. You can also add in check buttons and radio buttons, but we'll just stick to command for right now. And label equals pen. Then I'll add some more options. I'll write tool dot add command. Label equals brush. Then tool dot add command label equals pencil. Then tool dot add command label equals eraser. And command equals so i'll give in a command to this whenever you click on this option this given command should take place so command would be win dot quit then i'll have another menu object the size so i'll write size equals menu and it's the part of the main menu so i'll write menu in brackets then I'll add the size object to menu. So I'll write menu dot add cascade label equals size and menu would be size. Okay. I will not decorate this. I'll just keep it to default to check out what the default is. Then I'll add the options to the size object. So I'll write size dot add command. 
and label let it be 1px and similarly I'll do for 3, 4 and 6px so I'll just copy this down I'll write 3px 4px and 6px cool I'll have another element for the main menu I'll write colors equals menu and I'll give it an active background for this let it be light green and the background let it be light yellow okay I'll add this colors to main menu I'll write menu dot add cascade label equals colors menu equals colors and I'll add the options to colors I'll write colors dot add command label equals red colors dot add command label equals yellow and colors dot add command label equals blue and I'll call in the main loop I'll write win dot main loop now you can see that even for these options you can give in configurations you can have a background color a foreground color a different active background etc please check them out too they'll help you practice now let's check out how the menu works how the menu widget works how it looks like so i have my screen and you can see tool size and colors on the menu bar they are the part of the main menu and when i click on each one of them they display a new menu okay so that's the sub list so i hope you get an idea of how the list was how the menu was organized and you can even add further lists so please try doing that too that would be a practice and when you are quite comfortable with menu you might also look up for menu button try to pick out the differences and benefits of menu button what options menu doesn't provide menu widget doesn't provide but the menu button does so that's it about the menu widget thank you